For it to all come together at, at Kentucky, what, what does that mean for your team? I, obviously, I'm sure you guys have already turned the page, but yeah. for them to get over the hump and show some late game boys. Yeah, it was huge. You know, I think uh, just the level of belief was where it needed to be. You know, and with down four with 25 seconds or, you know, whatever it was, um, I think analytically I had like a 4% chance to win the game at that point. You know? <laughs> so it was a hard – or a situation where it would have been very easy to, to let it go. Um, but – you know, Tyrese gets a shot blocked, gets it out to Riley, and Riley made a really, really poised, like really smart play, just getting yeah. downhill, playing off two feet, dropping it off, you know, instead of taking a tough shot. <clears throat> and then we executed the foul, they gave us a free throw, and then we did a great job playing off two feet in the half court, and Walter uh, got him up in the air. You know, just, again, we, we just played within ourselves. We didn't try to do too much. We just took what the situation gave us and got ourselves extra life in overtime. And we felt really good once we got to overtime, you know. It was like once we got there, you know, brand new life, five minutes. Obviously, we knew how the, it felt to be the other team because we had just done it on Saturday, <laughs> you know, and it wasn't a great feeling. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought we, we really took advantage of it. Tyrese hitting that jumper at the beginning of overtime settled us really well and then uh, just made some really good plays. What can be said for you guys winning three overtime games, especially back-to-back? -back? What can be the difference? Well, what can be said about that? Oh, uh, you know, listen, overtime games are, you know, I don't want to say they're coin flips, but, you know, they're – it's a, a lot tighter in, in that sense. And uh, we've made some shots. You know, we made shots in the Michigan game in the second overtime, uh, you know, against Georgia. I think we shot 75% from the field in mm -hmm. overtime. And then on Wednesday, we were really efficient as well. Um, but, you know, to <clears throat> we have been playing confidently in those moments. You want that game to carry over, but you don't want to possibly just – Feel, still feel good about it. Right. You know? So where, no, is, it, is there a key to Because this is going to be a really hard game Saturday. Uh, incredibly difficult. You know, we talked a lot about enjoying it on Wednesday night. You know, mm -hmm. like we're getting on the plane. You know, we're obviously very happy. It was a big game for us. Um, you know, some I, I think this program hasn't done since 2003, you know, winning on the road against a top 10 team. Uh, but Thursday, yesterday when we met, you know, it was like, hey, what's one is done. You know, like we won that game, but it's in the past. And if we feel like we've arrived or we feel like we can just walk into A&M and, you know, play. It ain't going to happen. We're going to get blasted. You know, this is a really, really tough place to play. And, uh, you know, this game will be just as challenging as our Kentucky game was. And uh, the great thing is I feel like I can be a little harder on our guys after a win, you know, because it's easier to teach that way. Uh, but making sure, you know, this is a new challenge for our team that we haven't experienced this year in terms of having to handle success. We've won four games in a row. Uh, finally, people are saying, okay, maybe Florida's pretty good. You know, we, we felt that way about ourselves all year, but now because you win a game against Kentucky, people think, oh, you know, Florida, they're, they're there now. Da, da, da. But if we have that mentality, we're just going to go right back to where people thought. And so uh, all day yesterday, all day today, and all day tomorrow in our prep, uh, you know, a big part of the, the conversation will be handling success and making sure that we don't <clears throat> allow ourselves to feel good, too good going into this game. We've got to have confidence. Uh, and obviously, we should be able to pull that from that that game Wednesday. Well, but we can't have them receptive to that, right? Yeah, to absolutely. You know, they, they want to keep winning, um, but it's it's human nature wants to relax. We can't relax.